How's it going guys? Eric here from Techisode TV and today Apple announced the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus and I just gotta say hats off to Apple with how they implemented 3D touch on their smartphones. I think they did an awesome job. Huawei may have beat them to the punch with forced touch on the Mate S but I do gotta say Apple's implementation looks much much better than Huawei's so great job on that Apple. Now some of you may have already bought a Note 5 now you're thinking, wow, the 6S and the 6S Plus look pretty cool, especially with that 3D touch feature. You know, it's something I think I'd really use a lot. Maybe I should have waited for one of those phones. Or maybe you're thinking, you know, I wish the Note 5 had features like that. Well, today I've got some good news for you. You can get most of the 3D touch type features on your Note 5 with a feature called AirView. However, instead of pressing harder on the screen to activate this, you just hover your S Pen over the screen to do the same thing. If you're familiar with the Note line, you may remember AirView on the Note 2 back in 2012. Well, Samsung's been improving on it ever since, and their latest iteration on the Galaxy Note 5 is immensely useful. You may also remember AirView from the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy S5, but instead of using an S Pen, you would just use your finger to hover over the screen to do all of the same things. You should also know that that feature's been removed on the Galaxy S6, which I'm assuming is for battery saving purposes? Either way, I thought you guys should know that that feature is not on the Galaxy S6, it's only on the S4 and the S5. I covered AirView in depth in my Top 100 Reasons Why the Galaxy Note 4 is Awesome video, so I'm just going to show you a snippet from that video so you can get a good idea of everything that you can do with AirView. You can turn on AirView and get extra information when you hover the S Pen over different areas of the screen. These include extra details about calendar events, a preview of the photos within an album, or a larger view of a specific photo with shortcuts to do different things with that photo, a video preview when hovering over a video's progress bar, speed dial contact information, short descriptions for buttons, the ability to scroll up or down web pages, photos, and more just by hovering over the top, bottom, or sides of the screen, a preview of a link that someone sent you, finally be able to access drop down menus in a web browser without getting redirected to the first menu select, and much more. There are also a few other features like previewing emails and so forth. So, if you have a Note device, I highly recommend that you hover your S Pen over everything just to see what happens. Now you should know that there are definitely some things that you can do with 3D Touch that you can't do with AirView. Most notably is the ability to force touch an app icon to get shortcuts to do different things in the app without having to open the app first. You can also switch apps by force touching on the edge of the screen and swiping in. Both of those are super awesome features that you can't do with AirView on your Note device. So that's it guys, Apple announced a lot of awesome features today like a 12 megapixel camera, 4K recording, and 3D touch. Personally, I think Apple's done a phenomenal job with the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think the 6S and the 6S Plus have what it takes to beat the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy Note 5? Either way, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, let me know by giving it a like and sharing it on social networks. Lastly, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date on upcoming videos. And while you're at it, check out the Techisode TV website at techisode.tv to see exclusive content that won't be on the YouTube channel. That's it for this Techisode. I'll see you guys in the next one.